Remember the fucking 40 ounces? Oh, come on, bro. Yeah. Bro, that was my Mad shit, Dog. Bro. Mad, Mad Dog. Yeah, come on, bro. Mad Dog. Wow, he stands for some other bro. shit. Piss me off, dog. No <laughs> night train, bro. You know what I mean? Like, bro, hey, bro. I was a fucking cheap drunk. Glossy around here does 40 ounces of OE still oh, to this yeah. day. Hey, it's you. See, you hear him? See, I, I fuck with Flossy, but then I fucking switched to the Mickeys, bro. The Mickey's, oh, bro. Man. That was like, you know what I mean? Man. Man. Hey, well, how about when we couldn't afford the the the... Budweiser and it was uh, King Cobra. It was King Cobra. <laughs> hey, 32 ounces for the purple 30, cow. Yeah. I mean, drive through purple drive cow, through. bro. Shit. Shout out to fucking yeah. Frankie, my yeah. boys from the town, bro. We wow. Used to drive through on fucking. Hey, you get the purple lips because of Rusty Lambs. My boy Joseph. What's up, brother? Welcome to the telescope Thank room, you, man. Boy. Good to Thank see you, you, man. Good to see you too, brother. I'm glad you made it out. You know, I've been trying to get you on here for a minute, bro. Man, that traffic, man, it was holding me. Yeah, back. yeah, it was holding us back. Busy, busy's good. Busy's good. Busy's good, bro. This is this is a beautiful shit right here you got, bro. Thank that, you. That, that shadow interview, man, I just listened to recently was dope, bro. That was important. No, it was very important. Like this is important. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you have you have a very powerful story too. We go back a long, long time. Long time, brother. And, uh, you know, the main objective for the show ultimately is what you do on your private time, what I do on my private time, which is being a voice uh, and making sure to remind people that we were victorious from despair. True. You know, because we come from, from a very uh, tough upbringing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we weren't the only ones that were not the only ones and we're not going to remain the only ones. But now that we are here... You know, we have a voice. So let's take it back. Let's go back to the beginning and uh, let's tell the audience who Mr. Joseph Lucero is. Shit, man. Um, we can go back. I was born in Logan. Um, Logan Heights. Shout out to Logan Heights. My, my daddy's old man, Ray, from the Heights. My mom is Kathy Otero, blonde hair, blue eyes on me. Um, I moved to Golden Hills. Um, my mom and pop separated. You know what I mean, pop stayed right there in the hills with, uh, with all my deals. That's how you know. The homies from the hills. Yeah, that's how I know. All the, I grew up with all the homies from the Me hills. Too. Never, before, Me too. Before it was even the Dukes, it was just the Chicos. Yeah, so yeah. Was like, well, there was only like 14 of them. Yeah, there was like Wedo, Joaquin, Wed, Woody, yeah. Clown. Clown. Yeah, clown. Yeah, clown. Yeah, by, uh, Spook. By, that's Clown. That, that's Joaquin, right? Uh, Joaquin, Joaquin, Joaquin was Clown. Yeah. yeah, Joaquin was Clown. So I live next to fucking Tito. Joaquin. I live next to Joaquin. So oh, okay. Fucking, uh, uh, was a uh, Big Al. The, 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 the little, the little dude. The, yeah, bro. That, <laughs> that's when I was breakdancing. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Market. Oh, uh, Speedy from now. Loma. Speedy from Loma, man. Big Speedy and Little Speedy. Big Speedy little, and Little, little Speedy. Dog, but before we get to that, like, dog, wasn't that crazy how, I know it's a little off subject, but I was the only neighborhood where there was only a few of them, but all of those dudes were like, with the business. With the business. With the business, bro. With the business. Every single one of them. Man, and it, it was breakdancing for me back then. Yeah, you know oh saying? yeah. I, I was in the floor uh, masters, right? I used to get chased by uh, 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 by my dog, with my dog on my skateboard. Right. Through the hood. He had one ball. Fuck, his name was Bear. <laughs> I swear to God, he was half husky, half German shepherd. Homeboy had fucking purple tongue. Now everybody else had pit bulls and shit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He used to smash me up through, for, uh, all the way to the park, down shit, down into uh, uh, Sherman. Sherman Prep, yeah, everything, all yeah. the way to the railroad tracks and back, bro. You know what I mean? That's like, crazy, right? It start right here on 25th, go to Hill Park. You go down, you know, Sherman. Cut around through the yeah, fucking, there you uh, go. Uh, uh, the, the, fire, the, the, the fire station and the 7 Yeah, yeah, you yeah that's it. Down. You're yeah. down. So yeah. Straight down the hill, hell yeah. So that's where you grew up? Yeah. Okay. And then I went to Oklahoma. We, I, we moved around. My moms and pops kept getting raided. Then I shout out to Oklahoma, man. And uh, that's why I, I would have probably been a Duke from, right. fucking, from, from Lomas. That was, those were all my boys. It was before the Duke. So I, then we moved out to Oklahoma. And when I moved out to Oklahoma, man, I tried everything. Skateboarding, fucking sports. I did everything not to become a homie. Right. You know what I mean? But the dysfunction in my home, there was something missing. You know what right. I mean? And there, was, there was nothing but Gadaga all the time. They were selling, selling Gadaga. And when we moved to Oklahoma, it was, it was all white people. You know what I'm saying? But my mom is white. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but my pops is, you know what I mean, who he is. Right. And uh, I had never been called a wetback before on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was kind of fucking weird because <laughs> my Spanish ain't the best. Right, right, right. My right, right. mom's blonde hair, blue eyes. So it was real racial out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? How did that make you feel? Fucking angry, but scared too, in a sense of like. Like, you had to adjust and adapt to, like, like what's what, happening yeah, here? Like, what the fuck is this? Because my mom's was, um, my dad came home first. My mom's was in the fucking joint still. Right. Who was and, raising you? Ah, shit, I got pushed around, bro. I stayed with uh, 
Yeah, I, there's some names that I can't really say. Yeah, 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 for sure, for do. sure, yeah. But I got moved over to uh, 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 the Morenos, um, and then uh, his wife uh, uh, took care of me, Gina. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'll leave. Uh, this is family? Yeah, no, this no, no, these these are homies. These are homies. These are my dad's homeboys. Okay, so then, so so Pops' homies took you in. Yeah. Well, okay. then they were my mom's homegirls, too. Like, usually it was... Uh, so just the circle the around woman, your, you the know, circle the, around your parents took you in. Yeah, for what they did, homeboy, you know what I'm saying, selling that, that, that heroin, man, there was a lot of links. And then, right. you know, in the late 80s, the mid to late 80s, bro, um, if you know that era, there was some very fucking... Yeah. Very yeah, serious yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, there was some other... did yeah. certain things, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, um, gotcha. But so I got passed around a lot, and then I ended up with my, my real dad... And right there in between 28th and 27th and Broadway on the little hill next to Joaquin. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And so, like, we it was like all my tios and tios stayed in the same fucking plot. They didn't want me. They had that option. They auto didn't show. want me. My, 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 my abuela, everybody, you're, they you're, didn't like me, Holmes, because my mom's was blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh. She took my dad away from, you know what I'm saying? From like, them. Yeah, from being Mexicano and fucking, oh, they, you know what I mean? Like, I would feel that shit, homie, and... As a little kid, like, fuck that, bro. I was seven, eight years old, homie. I would, I would take, I would walk all the way fucking down through Wobtown, homeboy, through B Street, fucking up the hill to uh, to Golden, I mean, not to Golden, but fucking Balboa Park, bro, until I found a way. I used to sneak into all the fucking uh, uh, museums at that time. There wasn't that many of them the, the way they are now. And then I would sneak into the zoo like three times a week, dog. In the back of the zoo, there's a... The, by Roosevelt. The, the gates. Yeah, yeah, by Roosevelt. Yeah, on the other side. But yeah. in the back, of the, when you exit the, the zoo, right, they had those fucking push gates. They, they, would, they would go, like the, the gates would go through each other, right? And that was oh, the only okay. way to get out. Well, to the right-hand side, there was this fucking bar. And the, the twins, the Guatas from Sherman, that showed me how to get in. There's a higher bar, and my head would fit in. Oh, so wow. I could slide under, bro. I would spend all fucking day at the at zoo. At the zoo. Just Animals never put me down, homeboy. That, that was like my first <laughs> love, I swear to God. Yeah. It was a... Uh, I didn't want to be home, bro. Everybody. Was what was going on up back. here, bro? When you were there, it was freedom for me in the zoo, homie. It was a trip. So, okay, so so that makes perfect sense. So when when you left the zoo, where would you go? Fuck, I would I would get myself in trouble because it would be dark time. I was six and seven years old. Six and seven years old running through there, broski. You know I mean? I'm no lie. Six and seven years old. I won't even. My fucking daughter's twelve. Homeboy, she can't go to the store by herself. She yeah, for walk sure. The street. Yeah, for That's sure. just how I am. But at that time, there was. Like the, the the structure was different, homie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But then in, anytime I walked through Golden Hills or Sherman, like all even the ones that were that were copping or whatever they were copping, yeah. they knew who I was. Oh, that's on my race, son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Little Joey, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was good. The dope fiends took care of me, homie. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm because yeah. they were always copping dope. But I would get scared because I would get stuck coming up to the back by uh by the fucking before it was um the back of B Street. If you go to the back where the hospital is, and then you come up that back fucking hill in between Golden Hills Red. Oh, oh, the, uh, the, uh, Pershing. Per, yes, yeah, so Pershing. You, when you're coming up the hill. Oh from, yeah, oh you know, yeah, yeah. By Morley Fields and Pershing, bro. That's remember, pitch black, bro, right there. Remember, yeah. But you remember the fucking the canyons? Yeah. And they were finding bodies. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Golden Hill. Were, yeah, yeah, so yeah. They yeah. were finding bodies, and I would go through all that, and I used to be, I used to be fucking scared, yeah. homie. And I would call my mom. You got to come pick me up. And she, where the fuck are you at? How the fuck are you get way over there? But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why are you going over there, bro? Yeah, I can't. What the fuck you doing at the house? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that shit. It was normal for me, but it didn't mean that I liked it. Well, that's why you were you were you were leaving that. Like, you wanted to, you were moving yourself away from fuck that yeah. environment. I wanted to do anything it, and everything. I had it, two dreams, homeboy. Work at the San Diego Zoo or play professional football. Man, I went wow. to Brooklyn Elementary. And in third grade, there was this, uh, it was uh, Mr. Freeman, this black coach, bro. He used to take us to Golden Hills Rec. Every Saturday, we used to play football, bro. You know what I mean? Like, And like, I was like, I'm going to be, I'm going to play for the fucking, you know, whoever I play for. Whoever I'm going to. Gonna... How were you at that time? I, I was, I was about eight. It was like six, seven, and eight were these times. But then nine, uh, that's when they went back to jail. And that's when I ended up uh, going out to Oklahoma. So you were, okay. So when you. So, so all when... the way from like four to fucking nine. You were in oh, Golden Hills. Golden Hills, yeah. 26th and yeah. Broadway, 28th and Broadway, 30th and Cedar. You know, it's funny because uh, my mom moved us out of Sherman for one year and we moved to uh, 25th and B. 20, yeah. Right by the liquor store. I know, exactly. And right. that's okay. how I played soccer with Wardy, with Rascal, with um, Speed, the Speedy Brothers, yeah. Anutito. And that, that's Big how- Speedy got hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got, yeah hey, that's what he's known for, right? <laughs> yeah. And- uh, and that's how I knew all of them. So when I moved back to Sherman, where every time I seen them, it was no hood shit. You know what I'm saying? It was all love because we had that, that bonding from that time. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, yeah. Okay. So you moved to El Cajon. I had gotten arrested for the first time. Well, how old? I was turning nine. The Quartes, nine years old. Yeah, the Quartes from Lomas. They they got me good, bro. They were like, "Hey, we need you to get it. We, we, we got. We can't get into our fucking house." So it was the house by the canyon. Be fine. I, I can never remember the name of this fucking store, homie. You remember Thomas's bike shop? Thomas, nah. nah. It was on. It was on thirtieth, going up towards fucking uh, uh uh Alpha Beta. No. Get to the top where the Seven Eleven is. Well, behind that there was some more canyons, right? And the canyons next to the canyon was like this big ass pad. And they were like, "We need you to get into this house." So I get into the house, climb through the window, unlock the door. Well, and you was, thought it was their house? Yeah. I, said, I had no fucking idea. <laughs> so they give me this little the when the quads first came out, but they yeah. weren't the they were the battery quads, like the little kid. Quads. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here I am smashing through fucking all the and shit, <laughs> thinking I'm the shit at nine, bro. And yeah. The fucking, the cops, wait, who's is that? There was a break in. I had no I fucking deal, homie. I just knew one thing, never bring the hoodas back to my path. Right. You know I mean, because my book yeah, was yeah, yeah. parole and, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That was a no-no. They were like, who's, I wouldn't tell them who my mom and dad was, anything. They ended up taking me 28 to 1 metal arc drive. That was the first 28 time. 28 to 1 metal arc drive. Bitch, I mean, 300. Bro, they, at that time, um, where they had me, I, they had they kept me in the fucking, uh, like in the in the 80s, in the 80s. They didn't put me in any of the units. They put oh, me in the okay. Halls. Oh, like, I think it was 60, units, right? 60 units, units 60, 60 units. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, because yeah. one, three, and they had no. Yeah, yeah. There was the, one the nine, year nine year old. In there was one, three, <laughs> yeah. and five. Homie, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that yeah, was like yeah. teenagers, and then one hundred was was yeah, max. maximum. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, those are all you guys going to fucking YA and shit. Like yeah, that. yeah. I wasn't. That was just a baby, bro. You know what I mean? So after that time, would you say you kept going in and out? Yeah, that's when I started. Like, man, I skateboarded, homeboy. Every I did everything I could, bro. But it was we were always fighting, smoking weed. You know what I mean? Then we, you know, then got into the hood, homie. Started the hood. The hood shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Started the neighborhood, bro. You know what I mean? And then um, led a lot of motherfuckers the wrong way. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, juvenile hall, camp, camp three times. Then ended up going to- God prison. damn. What yeah, was that? P.O. Box 368. Three. <laughs> Campo, California. 92006, I believe, yeah. right? Yeah, hell yeah. 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 Hey, round one, round two, Campo one, Campo yeah. two, fucking- uh, Man, Mr. Rambo, Miss Rambo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fucking, then I ended up hitting right of passage. Kool Aid. Nevada. Kool Aid, yeah. Uh, fucking Miss Coach Lisa was out there too. Fucking, uh, then I ended up hitting, um, uh, Rite of Passage, which was, uh, basically that's a group, a, a group home. It's a Y alternative. So you oh. had Rite of Passage, Arizona Boys Ranch, Glenn Mills, and fucking, uh, um, Vision Quest, Vision no? Quest. Vision yeah, Quest, yeah. Four. And I didn't want to go to any of those motherfuckers. So on the, on the way, I was supposed to go to Glenn Mills first. And that's when me and Rico from Sherman, AWOL from fucking 200, we went on a fucking, uh, uh, it was, uh, what was it, 90, 92? Uh, one of the movies came out. They took us, and me, I was gone. They took us to East Colors, Hill, maybe. We jumped, we Breaking. Up, bro. <laughs> we, as soon as they hit us out, bro, I was gone. Bro. Bro, ended up ended up in, the, in, in GHP in the park all night getting And that's where I saw you? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. And that was, that was, that was like two weeks later. I went back. It was on my way to fucking. Where'd Mexico. you go after that? I went, I, they sent me out there. They sent me out to write a passage. I was in Nevada for about. <sighs> 13 months, AWOL from there with Mount was silent. You know what I mean? Bailed out of there, fucking uh went 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 through Shurs, Nevada, Yearington, Nevada, homie, made it to fucking how did you escape Carson. from the desert? Well, the thing was is they have three different levels. So they had the, the remote training center, which is the RTC, then they had the ATC, which was the athletic training center, and then they had the Q house, the Q qualifying house. The qualifying house is when you're like 90 days to the house, you're about okay. to go home. I was in the qualifying house. So you were on your way out. I was on my way out, right? So what happened was they 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 put these restrictions on you. Obviously now I understand, but at the time I was like, I'm done. I'm almost done, bro. You know what I mean? It was bad. They had it was the first time I had ever been with Northerners, homie. Like yeah, yeah, anybody yeah. outside of fucking San Diego, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was LA, O C I E. They had Sacramento, fucking San Jose, Oakland. Now all like of you guys were everything together. Everything from north to south. So the, the RTC was fucked up, bro. They used to beat the shit out of us, homie. That's a whole nother story. But so made it to the Q house, homie. We went to, we used to do a lot of community service, right? So in the in the community. In the community so you would bounce yeah. out from the from the spot and you would go to And then we would clean their shit up. So we went to these these places called the hot springs. So while we're in the hot springs, dog, now we're right next to the golden nugget. Well, this is when I found out that Vegas, what Vegas was about, what Nevada was about, like strippers and that shit was okay, like yeah. call real shit. Well, as we're cleaning it out, they tell us if we clean this whole fucking hot springs out, we'd be able to jump into the jacuzzis. So we're like, fuck yeah. We're yeah. Like, yeah. Homies like, cool, cool, cool. Well, some motherfucking strippers get in the fucking jacuzzi <laughs> with us, but we don't know this, dog. We're being polite and respectful. I'm a fool, bro. You know? yeah, so yeah. I was like, 
do my little popping and everything, yeah, yeah. my little sarcasm, trying to be cool in front of the homies. I was young, bro, but that got me in trouble, dog, to where they call, they use this word regression. So they're going to regress. So they're going to send, send you back. back to fucking RTC. Oh, it's like, fuck, fuck that. that. But okay. silent, it was me, silent, um, Negro from Mesa, uh, fucking, uh, who was it? Uh, this little Chino Mike, uh, uh, Mike Marin from, uh, he was from, he was from Chino from, uh, was he from Black Angels? Anyways, long story short, bro. Shout out to every one of those yeah. guys. Hopefully yeah. they shout all doing good. Shout out to good. all the homies wherever you're at, dead or alive, man. You know what I mean? You're part of my life, man. And, uh, that, I, that night I was gone. They were like, nah, don't go. I bust, I bailed out at two in the morning, bro. And after like five minutes into it, it's snowing, homeboy. Oh, so man. like, but it's the end of snowing. It's the beginning of spring, right? So like, What's fucking freezing? You, you got jacket, everything. Bro, oh, we got jackets, hoodies, and fucking everything, like, right? It like, was like camp. Hey, bro, I treated it like New York. Yeah. It was freezing. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I'm not used to that shit. I Made it about fucking maybe three miles, dog, and I wanted to go back, homeboy. Um, I was uh, like, what the fuck did I do? I, I, this ain't like, this ain't normal, like running away, homeboy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And my homeboy Silo was like, fuck that. We made it to this park. We stayed at the park six, seven hours, homie, because before the park, we made it to this fucking, uh, we walked, 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 walked. Made it to this place. Uh, it was a it was a Mexican uh, like a restaurant. So we met this dude Jose that was there, right? And vice in the back, he let us in. I said, "Let me use the phone. Let me use the phone." I call my mom's, call my pops. My pops was like, "Check this out. Let me talk to the dude." Told the dude whatever because I didn't. My Spanish was perfect. yeah 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 yeah. He told him, "I'll wire you some money. Hold on to my kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'll take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck he told him. Yeah yeah. And I'll, I'll get him a ticket, man. If you can get him to fucking Reno. You know yeah I mean? yeah. The dude said, "Yeah." He was like, "But I gotta work the next eight hours. So I'm gonna you know put him in a park." So we went to a fucking me and my uncle stayed in the fucking park eight hours, the longest eight hours of my fucking life, dog. Serio. So doing I, what? That's the point. Fucking hiding, basically. But we're still. Yeah, I was about to say, are you visible to the public? Visible to the public. Homie. Wearing jail clothes. And, but they weren't really jail clothes. We had when you're in the Q house because you're. You in got the, you're, somewhat of clothes, but they have a the, tag on them. Exactly. It would still say ROP, right? It passes Raiders. That was the name of their shit. So, so you were just hiding and. Basically hiding, bro. And we would see people and they like didn't go anywhere. But that part, cops pulled in, pulled out. Don't know if they're looking for us or not, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we made it, though. We made it. It was like 3.30 in the 3.30 p.m. Ended up getting coming and swooping us up. Man, I was like, fuck yeah. And there was like this store. I forget the store that was next to the park. But that's where he walked in. And he fucking got the failure that my my my, my pops fucking sent him. Mom sent him on me through Western Union, bro. Yeah, yeah. Picked us up and was like, we're gone. He, he kept his me. word. He honored he it. He kept his fucking word. I thought he was full of shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I was like, fuck it. What, what else have we got? We can't. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucker. Made it to motherfucking uh, uh, Reno. The Reno, bro. To circus, circus dog. We stayed there. We ate. Um, and walked to the fucking. You're house. what? Seventeen years old at this time? No, fuck no. I was thirteen. I mean. <laughs> I was 13, this is insane, bro. Yeah, bro. No, I, I hadn't even hit. Thir- my I son 13. is 13 years old right now, bro. This, this is the thing. You bro. know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, bro. I like, hit why like, 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 look at it. Look at the mind state. The different, the levels of, of where our children are right now and where we were, the, where we were. Because when I was 15, I was alone too, just like that. You know, mom died, family separated. It was jungle time. Yeah. You know, so before we get into the rest of that story, because I want to hear it. What do you think happens in our culture, in our environment, in this, in, in, in this whole stuff where leaders are not leaders? Why do you think that we become so consumed in wanting to live that life when it's no good for us? There's a void. There's a void in the home. Of leadership at home. Well, there's a void in home. Of, 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 of love. Of love. Of of. of being a part of something, of just that cariño from your mom or your dad, or maybe your mom and your dad's not there. So if that void is not in the house, we're going to find it anywhere. Well, we're going to find it in the guys, we're going to find it in sports. Yeah. It depends on which way we're put, right? Well, it, one of the things that I that I learned recently and that I agree with is the people that were in position to take care of those feelings when we were young, they didn't have their own feelings taken care of when they were young. Truth. They didn't know how. Truth. So we get scattered around. Truth. And we end up in this dysfunction. Because it's the same thing. They it's the same thing. something missing yeah, for in them. There. So then they did the best that they could. And that's the respect issues. Like, I respect addiction. addiction. Um, you know, there's this shit's plugged into something. I'm not going to stick my finger in that socket. Why yeah. is it going to shock me and kill yeah. me? Yeah. So that's why I've come. The lifestyle was an addiction, too. I'm with a handshake. Yeah, for we sure. Walk, we oh, talk, yeah, for sure. We walk away. It's like, man, that love and respect is everything. Yeah, and that's, yeah. where, that's where you find the love. And the, the, people talk about unconditional and conditional love. The neighborhood love was... 
was conditional. It as a was very but conditional. We didn't know it was conditional. But we didn't we know. It was unconditional. We didn't know. You walk away. Oh yeah, it's become uh, the opposition. Oh yeah, for sure. But in the for sure. in it, that love is fucking real. Bro. Oh yeah, You're willing to die yeah. for it and spend all day for it. Enjoy. As an individual, you as are. As an individual, you are. As an individual, you are. No doubt, because yeah. everybody's got their own plans, for, right? For sure. But it's facade and fucked up, and it's bullshit. Is that we know it is in the moment. That love is fucking real. Oh, no, yeah, absolutely. And that's what I like when I talk to these homies. That I, I got to take myself out of it and be like, I understand, I, I, I understand it. I understand, I've been there. I've been me, there. I understand yeah. what you're feeling. Exactly. About, you know what I mean? And that's where you want to instill what we've learned. Yeah. That love that we have, that true love that we have, with, whether it be with our kids, with, first with ourselves, and just understanding what you care about me. Yeah, it affects me, but I'm not going to bear it. It doesn't become my reality. It's like I would... One of my favorite quotes from fucking Jay-Z's lyrics is, what you eat don't make me shit. Right. And I fucking always put that into my life because what's your yeah, opinion of sure. me? Yeah, I'm going to, it's going to hit me. I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to be like, mm, do I own that? Fuck no. Bam. But thank you for the way you think about me. It lets me know where you're at. Where we're at. Like exactly. having like having categories in your mind and knowing where everybody belongs. 100%. It's like Don Miguel Ruiz says, like, not taking things personal. Like, I got to give you permission to let your words fuck with me. Yeah. You got to stay in the now. You know what you I'm saying? Stay in the now. I, I, absolutely. And I, you know, and, and, and when you were on the part, you were with somebody that you shared that unconditional love with. Mm -hmm. So that was your safety and you were his safety. Yeah. Okay. So you make it back to Reno. Make it to Reno. Make it to San Jose. Stay in San Jose about two On weeks. the run. On the run. I mean, well, I was in, me and my home side, we were in San Jose and, and I, and my mom's, uh, one of the con connectors that uh, she was selling dope to up there. Uh, I'm not gonna use names, but her daughter ended up fucking, which I had no idea. They were connected, homie, but they were they were Daniels. So I walked into this fucking pad. They were they were shooting. Thirteen like, years old. Thirteen years old. Me and my homeboy signing right. Straight with Daniels. I got a big old SD and a big old Tres that I removed off my shit now, right? But at thirteen, at you 13, had that, homie, right? So we and we're in the middle. This is crazy. East San Ho, and I, I had no no fucking idea about how active San Ho was, bro. And we stayed there about two weeks, and you had these some some real dudes coming through because she was one of them, right? And she protected the fuck out of us. But when these dudes walked in, you know, I mean, it's like, oh, pause, like whole faces one four shaded on the outside, like, yeah, 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 like yeah. the whole day, like what the fuck? Because we grew up on some like on some other yeah, shit, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And it was just like, what the fuck? Where the fuck am I at? Home? I was like, I gotta get to Dago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers gonna kill us. You know what I mean? Yeah. How we escape? We're gonna die, right? You know yeah. what I mean? But she had us. So she, her old man had Jews. So. Don't don't fucking touch these youngsters. You know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. family and shit. We ended up, and this whole time there was this fucking cop, La, Kevin La Chapelle, at El Cajon, bro. That that he thought I was in the because the neighborhood was putting in work. He thought I was I had escaped and made it up back to San Diego. So he thought I was there putting in work, trying to charge him with the drive by, all kinds of shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck, it was in San Jose, homes, but he didn't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? He had no idea. Bro. Yeah. So I ended up turning myself in a couple months later. Uh, actually. They ran up in, in my mom's pad, bro. We, we were getting fucking sparked in the fucking, in the, in the garage, humble when they hit the pad. And I mean, I was like, fuck, I tried to say I was my older brother, Droopy from McCann. I was like, yeah. <laughs> they was like, what's your name? I said, Mike Lucero, man. I'm not Joe Lucero. They were like, yeah. motherfucker, you don't look 45. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not big Mike from McCann. We yeah. both from McCann. And I was yeah, like, yeah. fuck, they locked me up. Bam went in. Yeah. So you went back. Yeah. And then what happened? You got, I got they 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 released me, homie. They, they released, they released you. Me, yeah, and then I then I caught a caught a serious case and ended up going to YA. You know what I mean? Did a little juvenile life from YA, man. And uh, shit, I was there with a bunch of homies, dog. You know what I mean? A bunch of homies. Uh, that was a whole different ball game. Um, I've always been a you know diehard San Diegan, bro. But uh, when you start fucking with dudes out of county, and they become homies. It, it, it wasn't about SDLA or SDLA. No, no, no. It was just about SDOC. people, brotherhood. Yeah, yeah. It was. It, it was. I was on some other shit. So hitting, yeah, hitting Fred Cinellis, um, Paso Robles, YTS. You know what I mean? And then because I graduated high school before I was seventeen, because that's all I had in there. I was. I was intelligent. Yeah. I couldn't say that out loud because it wasn't cool to be smart. It wasn't smart, cool right? to be smart. It wasn't cool to Isn't be that, smart, right? That, hey, bro, oxymoron. How stupid is that, bro? If it. I used to say it to myself, but I wouldn't yeah. say it out loud. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because I used to be like, some of these fools are sick. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. I, it's yeah, it's like me. They're like, I had A's and B's in school, but I had to get that U in the behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. I, had to, I, had to, I had to be yeah, a knucklehead. Yeah, 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 you know, so it's like, A, U, B, U. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, behavior-wise. Unsatisfactory. Yeah, unsatisfactory. Yeah. Unsatisfactory. <laughs> Hell yeah. Crazy. The same thing inside there, bro, because it's, it's, it's you're either one mind, one accord with with what they're pushing or 
You're the opposition, even at that young age. Yeah, for sure. So you do that stretch, you get out. Yeah, I came home July 24th, 96. Um, All right, 96. That was, that was, yeah, Ooh, that was, that was the, what a man, year, bro. I, I walked out. Uh, uh, How about Mike Martinelli? That was, bro. Mike Martinelli, when bro. He died, so I was in that circle when he died. His brother fucking Pony fucking like, that was my boys, dog. Like, yeah, I was that was my dude, right man. There. That was I, my dude. I was running him up. Well, so he was with us that day when he left the fucking shell town to, to, I mean, to fucking go on, on, on Highland right there, bro. Yeah, that's so crazy. Homie, uh, 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 what the fuck is that little Chinito's name from fucking Logan, dog? It was my boy. Um. Anyways, bro, we was on a sick one, bro. We was on a sick one running through. He had grouch from AK. Fuck yeah, that me. whole circle at the time was different, yeah, bro. bro. It was, we it was, were, it was we, a different time, bro. You know, like Martinelli, once in a decade, had just came out. So Martinelli came to see me because we went to Garfield. Before that, we, you know, we did some things in the, and then the Bandit. Bandit. Bandit, rest in peace. OTNC? No, no. Martin, Mike Martinelli was a uh, Bandit, no? No, Mike Martinelli. What they call, what they call Mike from, he was from East Side. But they no, were, they didn't call him anything. No, nah, yeah, they did. Cap Capone. No, was Cap it Capone? No, no, but that was a, no that's his, his brother. brother, little brother, yeah, yeah. right? His little brother. Angelo. His pony. And, 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 and then and Chris. The pony, which is, that's Chris. Pony. That's Chris. I don't but know no, what they, they called him. I was just Martinelli. Yeah, yeah. Mike, the late Mike, Martinelli. Mike, yeah, 13 Mike. on his belly. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah Mike, the, big Mike. Yeah, hell yeah. Man, so that's crazy. Okay, so, so you get out that time. What's going on in your life at that time? I started playing. Um, yeah, I started playing with some other shit. You know what I mean? So that I, I won't, I won't, I won't, you know, yeah. I won't, I, won't, I, I don't, it's not that I, I don't give no love to, it's just, it was a, it was a crazy part. So I started playing, uh, started playing with certain individuals and, uh, who was in TJ a lot, you know what I mean? Um, it's a whole different. Yeah. At that time there was a, there was a, there was a big set of people out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, like there was a lot of us, bro. It was just, it, well, it wasn't about Barrios no more. You know no, no. Mean? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I get it. Now I know for sure that because that's, I've known you since we were young. You always had this itch for the music too. You were you were doing your thing. Where was that going on internally in your life when you were, in, you know, doing your stuff over there? Anytime I was busted, I would write because the paper didn't talk back to me, bro. Right, it didn't put me down, bro. It didn't tell me I wasn't gonna be shit or, or die. So right. I would just fucking write, write, write. And my cellies were the only ones that knew I spit. And I remember Garfield from Del Sol, man. That was my boy, Juan Pineda. I used to be like, fool, bro. You you can. I mean, like. And Shadow was my boy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shadow put, I'm on one without a conscious. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, he was the first one that that, that believed in me, you know what I'm saying? Took like, you to the studio. Yeah, took me to Vicious and that, you know what I mean? Like, he he believed in me, bro. And he was younger than me, dog. And that, yeah. me and Jose were, we were tight, bro. Very tight. Right. Like, I love that motherfucker, like, yeah, yeah. never before. But when I walked away, I hurt a lot of people's feelings, which I don't give a fuck about now. But, you know, they, they were, a lot of them were my friends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not just homeboys. Like we had, like I had dreams. Brotherhood, bro. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I had dreams, but I didn't know how to step away and be my own man. Right. I didn't know how to do that. I didn't you didn't know balls. how you, you, yeah. Like I you didn't could, have the courage. You, yeah, 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 yeah. You couldn't I, identify with you. Yeah, I didn't know how with to. You, fuck you Joey. were connected like to Joey. that. Yeah, I didn't know who Joey was, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Joey was just a little scared ass kid. So let me ask you this, bro, because this is really, 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 really important. When you started connecting with Joey, how did your life change? Oh, man. Because uh, we still haven't talked about, you know, you were drinking at this time. I was drinking all the way, bro. The whole time? Was, yeah, the whole okay. time. Like that, drinking and smoking weed, but I didn't know I was an alcoholic. I was an alcoholic man, I mean. Yeah. I've been an alcoholic since I was like 11. Wow. Remember the fucking 40 ounces? Oh, come on, bro. Pieces? Yeah. Bro, that was Mad shit, dog. Bro. Mad, Mad dog. dog. Stand, yeah, come on, stand bro. for Mad Dog. Wow, stand for some other bro. shit. Piss me off, dog. No <laughs> night train, bro. You know what I mean? Like, bro, hey, bro, I was a fucking cheap drunk. Glossy around here does 40 ounces of OE still oh, to this day. Yeah. Hey, you, see, you hear him? See, <laughs> I, I fuck with Flossie, but then I fucking switched to the Mickey's, bro. The Mickey's, oh, bro. That man. That was like, you know what I mean? Man. Man. Hey, well, how about when we couldn't afford the 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 Budweiser and it was uh, King Cobra? It was King Cobra. <laughs> hey, 32 <laughs> ounces for the Purple 30, Cow, yeah. homie. Drive through Purple Drive Cow, through. bro. Shit. Shout out to fucking Frankie, my yeah. boys from the town, bro. We wow. used to drive through on fucking. Hey, you get the Purple Lips because of Rusty Lips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are the nah. lids, bro. Okay, so now. Not only are you dealing with some internal dysfunction, right? You, be, you, you create a universe of family in a somewhat dangerous state because of the morale behind it that we later find out is not pure. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. So we are basically putting ourselves in danger at all times. No, hell yeah. It was, you know, it's kind of like you, you, uh, 
You 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 know what you sign up for in a sense. Oh you know yeah, I mean? for you, sure. But you don't know what you sign up for. You you, really you do, don't. but you don't. Not till later. Yeah, they, you know you start to believe what they say. Well, you signed up for this shit. You know what's up. Yeah, you okay. You know what I'm saying. But inside you're like, whoa. I didn't really. I didn't sign up for all this other shit. Yeah, man. no, not, not all, all this, this shit. shit. And yeah. not only that, but I mean, and, and I'll do reality, man. Like I've seen so much betrayal. Oh, bro, that I, I would see. You know, it. like what you you talk about honoring this, but I see you doing the opposite. You oh know? man, from. You like you know what I mean? Don't don't be slamming dope. Don't be fucking this. Don't be fucking your old homeboys, old ladies. Like, yeah, oh, all shit. that shit. Like oh shit, pause. I mean, I, I'm witnessing this shit. <laughs> I'm seeing it all happen right here. Four three sixty, bro. Right you know now, yeah, yeah. But to each their own, right? So we we fucking you know we are who we are, and that's the beauty of where I'm at now. Like you asked me, when did I tap into Joey? Like I tapped into Joey when my, when my son was being born. Okay. You know, how I many was, kids do you have? I got three. My oldest is 22, Joseph Raymond Lucero. My uh, 12-year-old daughter, Brooklyn Love Lucero. And my youngest, Evelyn Faith Lucero. Okay. Uh, from the same Beautiful. Woman, you know, awesome. Who, who's, uh, you that's, know, that's, that's dope, bro. Oh, that's, man. That, that's, 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 and that's And that's what gave me the fucking power, the courage, the balls, the fucking that way. was yes to say, I don't care what you think. No disrespect to you individually, but I didn't care what anybody thought. Because I finally had a reason to actually live outside of me. You created a boundary that was not going to be broken. No, and, and I because there's no boundaries. No, bro. and that you it was the saying? love because that's unconditional love. Yeah, that's I right. could fuck up right now and start drinking again. My kids are going to love me still. Yeah, I could walk away and be a piece of shit dad. And I that love is still they can do whatever, and I'm still going to love them. Yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah. And I remember saying, as I was fighting, you know, all day in the county, I was just like, man, like, what do I do? You know, what do I do? Like, okay, I can, I can do, I can do all day. I can put in work. I'm going to be all I can be. I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to follow suit. I'm going to be that motherfucker. But even at the end result, I know what that ends up being because yeah. you know, I'm a charismatic motherfucker. I knew I put in work. Fools love me. But when you, when you start to do that. There's hate on that level too. Oh, yeah. It don't matter how much work you put oh, in. Oh yeah, because bro. If, you, if motherfuckers hate on you, dog. For there's hate there's everywhere, bro. Yes. And I was just, just like, like there's love everywhere. There's hate everywhere. Not only that, bro, but I mean, you know, not to cut you off, but one of the important things to remember is that a lot of these things that these young dudes are striving for, they have no idea the consequences that come with those no, things. No. You know what I'm saying, though? Like you they said, I mean, bro. bro people want the loot. People want the fame. People want status. All of that is external bullshit. Yeah. It's the when if if somebody put that amount of energy into the internal side of them, that they're putting into the external side of them, they would have a completely different life. See, and the thing about that though is 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 we're broken. Yeah. Abandonment, no love. Yeah. So we gotta heal, homie, because otherwise we live off that resentment. Oh, Not yeah. even knowing that we're living off this yeah. resentment. There you go. Ego, the ego is based off of I have to be an ego about myself right, because yeah. if I trust you, you're going to let me down. Yeah. My own mom let me down. My dad let, let me, me down. down. I can't yeah. fucking trust nobody. Yeah. So without even knowing that, that shit fucking consumes us, homie. Yeah. So then we build this identity that can nobody fucking take yeah. this identity away from me. Yeah. Whether it's putting in fucking work, whether it's doing Whatever shit, it whatever, is. Whatever the fucking, whatever it is. And that's that's the danger. And that's the fucking, that's where we get caught up, bro. And then yeah. we, next thing you know, we got 185 years to life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we're putting in all this work and then we get railroaded or something goes bad. And then, you know, you drop out or whatever the fuck happens. You're not, you're not, you're not doing playing the game no more, but then you still got that 185 years to life. Yeah. Then you start to realize, damn, this shit wasn't even fucking worth yeah. it. dog. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck was I living in facade? You start to educate yourself. You start to love a little bit yourself. You start to heal yourself and start to realize. You start waking up, bro. You fuck. get out of the matrix. Yeah, but you can't wake up unless that healing uh, well, happens. The spark. Yeah, but not even the, the bro, spark is what gets your attention. The, okay, so when you get the what? Okay, I always say, hey, bro. They say that your the happiness in your life is based on the quality of your thoughts, right? Yes. But going deeper than that, instead of becoming your thoughts or being your emotion, we have to be the awareness behind them. Yeah, no, that would not trip this though. What you're not aware of does what? Damage you. Controls you. Controls you, yeah. Damages you, so controls you, you, runs you. So until whether, you're whether aware of it. Whether that's drugs or whether bro, that's it's, women, it's, whether it's, that's it's, the it's, it's like us, bro, in the neighborhood. So until you're If, you, until if we you're have no idea how dangerous it is, how dangerous is that? So until you're aware of it is when you can, you have that, if you're still breathing, and that's, and that's, you have the opportunity and, to make the choice. To and breathe. even us talking right now, we are trying to bring what? 
awareness. awareness. Yeah, 100%. Awareness, bro. The awareness is, is the key. Now, so at this point in your life, when you start identifying with Joey, how does your life change? How does the dynamic of your life change as a father, as a person, as a son? How does everything start changing for you? I'm still in the pen at this time, and I started to fucking heal, bro. Like, I went through a process of, of writing down my wrongs, writing down the rights, writing down if there was any love, if there was anything on the good that I did in my life. And I wrote all the fucking everything down to understand what was controlling me, why I did the things that I did. Why was I? I wasn't angry, but I truly was resentful, resentful inside. I resented my mom, which was none of their fucking faults because they did. Yeah, the because they were, they, yeah, they, they, they were left unattended too. But until you're fucking blessed with that awareness and understanding, this is what run, that's what was run to me. Yeah. Is it fair to say that while you were in prison, you were liberating yourself from your psychological prison? Yes, one day at a time, bro. I was, I was, I was more free this last time than I had ever been when I walked away. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers were mad. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Right. Even with myself, I went through like a state of depression because I was like, fuck, I ain't never been talked bad about. Yeah. But I kept saying to myself, Yeah, but you're ta- you're being son, but but you're ta- but you're but you're being talked about as somebody that's not you. Dog. I know, and, and that's that's what you learn. And I didn't care because I was like, I'm gonna be a dad. Yeah. I'm not gonna be my dad to where my dad was my celly. Yeah, exactly. My son's not gonna be my celly. Because I've already built this cycle. I walked away. I walked away for fucking, for rules and regulations. Like, if this is the world, homie, it's like a fucking, a little yeah. piece. Like, just this yeah. little, little, little fucking speck. And that's the world that we lived in, running, running game yeah. and on the streets. Like a and mosquito fucking, bite. Yeah. The like a mosquito bite. Big, yeah. But you don't see it as no, big. No, you're, you you're, you you mos- you're living in the mosquito bite. That's it, homie. And it was that's like, it. man, now I see the world and it's on a whole different level, bro. I mean... People look at the fucking beautiful things that have happened to me. I look at the beautiful father that I've become. Yeah. The family that I have. Yeah. Like, I can cry, dude. I'm, I'm a goofy motherfucker, dog. Like, yeah. I'm the, I'm the, and to look in my children's eyes and they think I'm the coolest, funniest, yeah. doofiest motherfucker in the world. Yeah, yeah. Just that's, fucking, that's, that, that's, that is the most. That's, the, that's beyond any monetary gain on the planet. Bro, like, that is yeah. like, it fulfills me on a daily break. I like, see you, dog. Like, I see you, And bro. I don't ever want to lose that. And in order to never lose that is to stay humble and to stay grateful every morning that I wake up, I thank God. The God of my understanding. See, it's the Rona. I don't play religious. I don't play any of that shit. I was baptized Catholic, all that. Yeah. But religion to me I got is, kicked is out of Rona. catechism. Yeah. <laughs> was I know you grew up in Sherman, homie. Yeah. Trust me. I know <laughs> that, dog. So it's just a beautiful thing to be who you are. Like to, to sit here and to talk with you, you know, after 30 years, dog. Like it's it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's yeah, the likewise. Same way. It's reason yeah. to reach out to Shadow to get him yeah. off. Get yeah. at me, dog. Like yeah. let's continue what we started 25, 30 years ago, dog. Like and now on a different level because everybody's aware. Yeah, you know, dog. I uh, I've learned, you know, in the recent years through my own growth, bro. Is a, uh, you know, the power of our free will comes with a lot of responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like we have the ability to feel emotions, but you know, I was just talking with her, like, you know, that, we, that there's such a thing as emotional abandonment. There's such a thing as emotional starvation. There's such a thing as emotional intelligence. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Hell yeah. It's like this, dog. Like, if we're driving down the street in our car, the check engine light comes on in the car, what's the first thing we do? Go to the body shop or to the auto shop to fix the car so what? So we can go where we need to go, right? Mm-hmm. Externally. When the check engine light comes on internally, people don't do what they need to do. Now nah, go drink a beer, go smoke a blunt. Yeah. So they could go where they need to go. Suppressive. You would not be where you are at right now. I would not be here sitting right now if we didn't do the maintenance internally. Yeah, 100%. 100%. But with there, now, with that being said, that's the responsibility that I feel you have and I have is to make that a fucking awareness so the brothers and sisters can do that shit. Of course, bro. You know I mean, and not just pushing God down throats. No, 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 like no, no. It's no. about the fact that they and we are worthy of this joy. That you and I have, of now course, found. bro. You, you know that bro. we searched for our whole fucking life. That we, that we deserved as kids. Yeah, that would have made us go right instead of left. Of course, but I bro. respect the journey that we walk. No, no, and so do because I. Because that's what's made us who we are. And and so do I. And one of the things that, in my opinion, that worked in my journey that I always say is, 
when the award, when the awareness comes to you, the power of free will, then you have the, the, the responsible choice. You can make the responsible choice or not, right? The growth has to come with sincerity, bro. Yeah. The only way, in my opinion, that the growth has worked for me was when I was pure to the growth. Doesn't mean I'm not going to make mistakes during the growth. Yeah. It's just that, that I mean that nothing is going to stop me from continuing to nurture my spirit and water my seed exactly. so I could blossom and be the best me. So if I'm the best me, my children benefit that. Yeah, 100%. My peers benefit that. My my work, my, my life, everybody around me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you do things like that, other things come very insignificant. Because what you're doing, it what you're doing becomes very significant. So then you don't give a damn about having so and so around you, yeah. or going to the. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't go to clubs, I don't do none of that. That's insignificant for me. Yeah. Like the like the color red to a bat, it's not part of my reality. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you know when I see you, you know man, I I applaud you, bro, and I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you. you know, bro, how far you've come in your life. What a good leader you're you are. How you honor your 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 status and your relationship and your responsibility because there's not one day that goes by that I see you and that you are not saying what you are saying right now. Thank you. And that is very important, bro. You know what I mean? So that's why it was so important for me, you know, to have you come. You know what I'm saying? And I know we could probably stay here for a year and talk about, you know, the transition and where we're at. But it's very important, bro, that, you know, people... Uh, come together and create symbiosis no 100%. You know, the symbiosis is very important you know we can't be we've already lived the parasitical life where they extract and they take and they take and they take we where we weren't born to be garbage eaters no not at all you know what i'm saying especially we're born to adapt and live yeah especially being being parents being fathers you know what i'm saying and uh and that's important man and you know being a good leader and leading by example so back to the story right quick so how did you end up, fast forward a little bit, doing all this magnificent stuff that you got going on right now? Bro, I got out the fucking way of my own of self. Of your own self. Yeah. But I still I still had a, I still had a couple more struggles because I hadn't stopped drinking yet. But when I walked away from the neighborhood life and I came home, um, I still I came home, SSU, gang soup. So I, I was four times at the fucking parole office, four times hitting my house for like six months. And then they told me, you still got that job with the priest in LA? And I said, yeah. You know what I mean? Reached out. He was like, I'm going to let you go out there. You're going to keep your mom's address here in San Diego. You get, you fuck this up or you do anything, you look scoundered. I never gave you fucking permission. That parole officer saved my ass. I gave him six months. No, what? There's nothing. Nothing. Not a dirty test. Nothing. Yeah. And uh, when I came back out to Homeboy Industries, man, and, and, and I started just working with the youngsters, working with grown ass men like us, Homeboy, right. and uh, just being who I was and trying to just be some sort of vessel of change. You know what I mean? And uh, of inspiration. Surrounded by people that wanted the best for you. Yeah. Well, they didn't want the best for me. They wanted the best for themselves. But I was surrounded by like Father mm. Greg and it was, we, had, okay. we had senior staff. Got you. And these guys were coming out. They were still they were still active. They were still running amok. We stayed right there in Boyle Heights. And you had Clarence, fucking uh, Cuatro, fucking uh, Tiny Boy. Like you had a bunch of barrios, dog. That were they're like within a fucking 15 block radius, bro, that were murking each other. They were murking each other. This is you're talking about 2003, 4, 5, and 6. Um, and I watched a lot of a lot of kids in my case though die, bro. That I got close with, bro. That that really that wanted what we got now. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. Ready, but, got, that, but, but that 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 fucking that drive inside to be respected and yeah, loved, yeah, what they've yeah, known their part, whole yeah, life. Yeah. They've been ingrained. They abandoned the the true identity. Yeah, it's yeah. and it's been ingrained in their character since they were little. So like you have to unlearn that. It's kind of like rebooting a fucking uh, bro. It's a, it's a it's a rebirth. Yes. It's like you wake up and you you have to live a completely. But they they would come to work and then they'd have to go right back to it to it, even in their own homes, their pops, their moms. So that's you're fighting. It's kind of like if you stop drinking alcohol, but you live inside a bar. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. it's like you're safe at work and then you go right back to the bullshit. You know what I mean. Right. So it was hard, but it was the bottom line that that you had a st un unconditional place to live. Right, you know, with, with the, you weren't judged on. So you were still drinking, though. I was still drinking, but I thought I was I was cool drinking. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't because I figured. Because in your mind, you're like, I'm not doing dope. I'm not in the pit. And I don't. Drink I'm not every shooting day. anybody. I don't drink it every day. Yeah, I, I drink, drink on the weekends. weekends. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that, that was the that was the escape. That was I only drink me. on the weekends. That, right, that was for a lot of years, dog. That's how it was. And then, uh, but I got three DUIs. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was getting into fucking brawls, bro. Like, yeah. literally, homeboy, like, all the yeah, time. Dark. That environment brings Shh. problems, bro. bro that's I, it. I broke into the fucking, the, the industry uh, of Hollywood, homeboy. Um, my first shot was uh, Gridiron Gang with The Rock. Yeah. Zeta, like, that was, yeah. that was unfucking believable bro. Yeah, how was that experience for you, bro? Like, um, being around all these... A1 actors and not only that but like your character was based on your real life yeah that uh it was just like I for me I had been around dudes that I wanted to be like anyways so right. I knew how to conduct myself without jogging the nuts you know what I mean right. by, by, by being how can I say like earning that respect in the manner that it's trusted in that environment the, the right way yeah. and so I had stepped away already so and being a gang counselor I was taking these eight dudes they were from South Central from East Los from Southgate so I was taking them to the spot so I couldn't just leave them there so they had me stay and be a part of the background well three weeks into the background uh, uh, Mike Rackmill Neil Moritz who's the executive producer of all the you look at that that motherfucker is big time and uh, and The Rock uh, Dwayne Dwayne Johnson and then the writer uh, was Jeff McGuire. They pulled me in and they were like, check this out, man. You've been here three weeks. We have an issue. And I was like, fuck, one of my, one of my guys in my case, like, yeah, yeah, Jack, yeah. something like, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. like, no, it's with you. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, what did I do? And they were like, you know what continuity is? And I was like, I have no idea what continuity is. And they were just like, well, you, because I was, at that time I was ripped up. Yeah, fresh out. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. We were doing football scenes and all that. They were like, well, the problem is we're shooting football scenes and you look the most like the <laughs> I, realest motherfucker the out right there. Here, yeah. And we you're not your background. So we either gotta cut you out or we gotta put you in. We'll tell you on Monday. So when I came back Monday, I had a trailer and I was a Chavez, the heavily tattooed kid. And I was signing a contract. I went from like ninety dollars at ninety dollars a day to like five thousand a week. Wow. And it that's when it started. You give me a, you give me, and I, I was already pushing the music and I was trying to, you know, work the dreams and then exhibit like I was a fucking fan. Yeah, you know yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. already trying to get with him, like, what's up, fool? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, music, yeah. Let's get blah, done. Blah, blah. So I jumped into the arts, man. Um, started studying Meisner, got a coach, um, ended up getting a, That was a whole different field for you. Yeah. But I was like, it, as a little kid, I used to watch Facts of Life, Super Spoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy days I, yeah, on. Happy yeah, yeah. I wanted to be all that. Cause I didn't want to be my own fucking path. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I already wanted, like, I like the idea that. of that was yes, always there. Always in my yeah, chest, yeah, but yeah, I wasn't yeah. worthy of that because I was in the hood. Yeah, because we're in the hood. Yeah. Of, bro. yeah. And here it was becoming reality. You know, but I thought, well, I don't gangbang, so I'm cool. You know what I mean? And uh, well, I was still drinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that, that shit got in the way. I booked a bunch of roles. I guest star roles. It was a new kid. You know, would be like, what the fuck's this for? Emilio Rivera is like, what the fuck's this new homie? You know what I mean? Because I wasn't just a homie. I was a real homie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Straight yeah. out the joint and all that shit. Too. Uh, like, still a little wild. Yeah. Still, still, still a little, little wild. Like, still. Very respectful. Yeah, yeah. Same. But like, you know, yeah. They yeah. knew. They was like, oh, this fool's the real deal. And that's that's what Hollywood wants is the yeah, real deal. Yeah, authenticity. You know I mean? And that's why it's how cats now, like. You, anybody I, I will see sometimes I see these movies and I'm like where did they get these guys yeah like what the fuck is this where did they find these dudes that are supposed to be homies you know what I'm saying it's it's crazy yeah, it's crazy so that was the blessing bro um and I ran with it on me and then but I, when did you get sober I got sober uh single the mile 2015 so my my sobriety day comes up in about two weeks oh we have, congratulations my bro I have six years I have six nice, years nice yeah, one day at a time, dog. Now, when you got sober, obviously you you were you were in the game already. Yeah. You were doing movies. You were already in that world. I had lost my agent because of because of drinking. Yeah, I would. I'd have an audition. They'd call me. You got an audition on Monday. Like I'm at the come bar. Su right come now. Sunday, homie. I'm hung the fuck over. Oh man, my mom's fucking legs broke. You know what I mean? I can't make. It. <laughs> I would make up <laughs> shit, bro. Who the and then that's how, that's how bad the addiction was. Who the fuck am I to do that? Yeah, I, I bro. Blessing to be in Hollywood, and I'm over here shitting on myself. Yeah, you know, I think that for me, like that was a. That was a, 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 a big testament in my life that changed things for me when I started not feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was betraying opportunities, betraying myself and completely dishonoring my growth. And when I didn't like the way that felt. Yeah. And the only way that I could remove the way that felt is by not doing it anymore. Yeah. Things like that, like making shit up, like, hey, I can't come, dog. Like, my homie's fucking something died. Yeah, or yeah, something, yeah. you know, like who Making goes that, that far? An alcoholic does. An alcoholic does. You know, 
So my last drink, uh, just looking at the gloves, is crazy because that was the Pacquiao uh, Mayweather fight. Oh, so my yeah. actual fucking sober day is the third. The third of May. But the I second to, you drank. That, that was the last day. I drank. May second. Yeah, I'm, the second I drank, I'm, I woke up in the county the next morning. You woke up in the county the next morning. Yeah, yeah. What? What happened? I guess I got into a big ass fucking fight coming outside the house. Some dudes tried to come up on me and I was slanging them and ended up in drunk tank. And were you like, what the fuck is this? I'm bro, here. I, black, I blacked out. I blacked so you wake out. up in LA County Jail? No, San Diego County Jail. San Diego County yeah, Jail. Yeah, yeah. I was downtown. Oh. New County oh, Jail. The new county. New county, yeah. I, I was, before I went to the joint, I was, I turned the old county. county. New county. Wow. Crazy. That old county's got, we got stories and that. Oh, shit. yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time stories and that shit. Okay, so, dog, you had to at some point right there be like, I came so far. Nope. I, no? No, but what, what, what really got me, I was already trying to- You had your baby, your your baby boy at this time already. My son was already 16. He was graduating, 16. He was graduating high school. And, that's and you had your other baby was Brooklyn. close. My Brooklyn, I had my Brooklyn and, and uh, my youngest was uh, two months. She was born in January, three months. She was born January 6th. So she has never seen me drunk. Never seen you drunk. Which is a miracle, bro, right? Yeah. My Brooklyn, she seen me. The last time she seen me drunk was that night. And then my my Joey, he's the one that told me. He's like, how the fuck you walk away from the gang shit helping these people get into Hollywood? Like, here you are. You're fucking losing this shit. To, you're going to lose the alcohol? Like, I don't ever want to talk to you again if you drink again. And I just remember bawling in tears, dog. Wow. I fucking bawled in tears, bro. Like, it just... The most important thing that I loved in life was telling me you never wanted to talk to me again if I didn't stop Wow. Drinking. That's deep, bro. You know, and that that fucking uh I made I did what I, I did the wrong thing in the in the sense of um making a promise that I'll never drink again. Yeah. Because promises are made to be broken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. not perfect. But um one day at a time since that day I've not drank and I told him That's why you say that all the time. Yeah, and that's why I wake up every single day. And I just started putting that on my Instagram like a year and a half ago, and that's because of the, the people that I seen it was touching. Like people would just send me inboxes about I needed to see this. So I was like, you know what? This ain't about me. Let me keep putting this shit up every yeah. day, which helps fucking me. Yeah. Which really oh, helps. Yeah, me. yeah. You, you know, know they mean? say the, the greatest gift is giving, dog. Yeah. Oh, that not was, receiving. Yeah. It's giving. Yeah. That was it. It's the greatest gift, you know. Yeah, it truly is, bro. It's, it truly is. So, at some point after two, uh, 2015, you end up on the Mayans. Yeah, well, before the Mayans, bro, check this out. Fucking, uh, I uh, uh, I was supposed to be on fucking um, Better Call Saul. Signed a fucking six year contract. They ended up giving it to this other guy, Michael, Michael Mondo, I think his name is. Um, so I lost that. I went into a, like almost depression because I was already buying the house. Damn. And then uh, my first, the first one I booked was Shameless. I jumped on Shameless. Fucking, uh, I broke fucking Mickey and Ian e e out of jail, bro. And then took him to Mexico, bro. Right. Oh. Two, three episodes. <laughs> and then Me after, too. yes, sir. Shout out to Shameless. That oh, is a yeah. great show. Shameless. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, after that was um, was Mayans, bro. I booked Mayans, bro, and that was fucking huge, dog. I booked. And now this was, is now this is in a this is a different chapter of of Joseph's life. Yeah. Oh, this is. You're like I'm sober. This is sober, bro. This oh yeah, is bro. Completely nothing. Sober. Tell me, and I and we can obviously relate. Isn't it the most fucking beautiful feeling in the world to wake up in the morning and be sober, bro? Be Fuck yeah. Life, bro. To not have that hangover, not worry about who yeah, the yeah. fuck is this next to me. Yeah, not the worried anxiety, about bro. Like, where the, am I at? Yeah, where yeah, the fuck did yeah, I do yeah, last night or not? Have, or the anxiety because the I need to take a yeah, yeah. So I yeah. this fucking Or hangover. the way your children look at you. Yeah, that, that's, that's it took a minute. You know. It took a minute. But look how proud they are of you. Look how many people are proud of you, yeah, bro. bro. I'm proud of you. Every Thank a lot you. of people are proud of you, bro. And for you too, bro. You sober yeah. too, bro. That's yeah, it's, bro. It's the it's the it's the best fucking best thing I could have done in my life. Next to having my kids, my sobriety, because now I have a relationship. Like I was saying, I'm dependable, homeboy. Like yeah, I'm fucking it's dependable. Cr- like look how crazy that is. I don't make excuses is. up. Bro. Yeah, bro. That, that's I don't that's, make like yeah. I, I will I will tell them myself like yeah. because I don't know how to lie. If I lie, then it's something that I'm hiding. Yeah, if I'm yeah. hiding something. Yeah, then you're not being you're being you're betraying yourself. In my yeah, chest. you're poisoned, yeah. bro. So it's a trip, bro. It's a trip. And now you know what I'm saying. That's the that's the path of purity, broski. You know that's the path of purity, bro. And it's like you said, dog. It's it's not about uh you know. Screaming God and none of that, dog. I mean, looks. I have always said this for a long time now. When you're good privately, it shows publicly, bro. Fuck yeah. 
It shows pub. You don't have to say, you don't have to tell anyone I've been sober for it. You, it just speaks. Yeah. Your aura speaks, your energy speaks, your behavior speaks, the way you look speaks, the way you speak, you know, it just speaks. You know what I'm saying, dog? Yeah. And uh, for me too, bro, my, my children, bro. And you know, other things present themselves. And I would say like, you know, we got to self-examinate. We got to mentally, emotionally purge. We got to be, we got to prepare ourselves every single day for the next thing. And the next thing, as long as we continue to nurture our spirit, bro, when the next thing comes, we're ready. Yep. We're ready, bro. Yep. We don't wait for it. We don't say, I can't wait for this. We just do it. Just anyway. do it, bro. If you can keep your, if you can keep your character balanced, whether that be spiritually, for me, it's spiritually. Me too. Yeah. I mean, then organize. I can, I can anything that, organize. that hits me across the fucking head, bro, I'm, I can bounce back from. Yeah. You know, before I'd be like, fuck it. And I'd suppress the shit. You yeah. Know, yeah. Drinking uh, or, or, the, women and that, or whatever. And those are part of our teachings, man. Uh, you know, that when you go through despair or when there con- there's some kind of turbulence and you're in a good place, you're able to deal with it in a good way. Yeah. You know, like you said, we're not running to the bar. We're not running. We're not running to women. We're not running to vices. We're not running to, to destruction. We're running to remain in the space that is going to continue to be positive. Yep. You know, but I ain't never been this focused in my life, bro. Me I'm neither, bro. Life, yeah, bro. bro. Like I'm actually happy, bro. I get yeah. people Kool Aid smiles and cheese, like I'm feeling it right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's fucking dope. Bro. I, yeah, dog. I say that all the time. Sometimes I'm driving and I get these like crazy, like mini epiphanies, bro. You know, I feel like the universe comes and just like hugs me, yeah. bro. You know what yeah. I mean? That's and beautiful, that's beautiful, bro. man. That's beautiful. But fuck yeah, man. You know, again, bro. I want to thank you for coming, bro. Your story is absolutely. Beautiful, bro. I congratulate you and salute you, bro, on professionally and personally and spiritually, broski. You know, I, I'm very proud of you, dog. And uh, I salute yeah. you too, my brother. You come a long Thank way. You, Thank you, man. Thank you, man. You come a long way, bro. And your sobriety, you see the difference. How much yeah. Oh, yeah. Me. I was you know a walking saying? nightmare back yeah, then. <laughs> hey, but that's a beautiful thing, man. And you know what I mean? What you started here, the telescope room, always fire, bro. Thank you, man. Bringing truth to the people, to our people, to the little youngsters out there that are fucking struggling, to the, all the older homies that are struggling. Yeah. Motherfuckers that are in the cell yeah. that got their burning phones to fucking listen to this shit. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? bro. Yeah, like, bro. Hey, you know what I mean? You're worthy. You know what I mean? 100% you're worthy. You Absolutely. deserve this. Whether yeah. you come home or not, you still find that joy, find that life, find that love, find that purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a story to tell, man. You know what I mean? But most important is, is your story is your first. You're the, my, 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 my sponsor told me, my, you know, my, my mentor, you're the hero of your own story. Yeah. You get to fucking write your book. Oh no. Yeah, you know bro. I mean? and, you know, and you are the hero of your own story. So yeah, you know for sure, for sure, bro. And you know, I, I, that's, I, that's why I applaud you, bro. You know, when I, when I first brought it up about ring, you're like, yeah, bro, let's do it. You know? And I know that you go other places, you know, from Dr. Phil to the homies podcast in the neighborhood so right here, bro, like that doesn't matter. The no, voice yeah, is what yeah, matters. Yeah, keeping it, keep it. We're trying to give. The, the, the voice is what matters. Just trying to give whatever. I'm nobody different than you, bro. You know what I'm saying? We just took different paths, but the same path. Yeah, you know what I mean? for and, sure, and bro. And look where we're at sure. now, right back to where we're supposed to be because good energy brings good energy. Yeah, for sure, bro. And, you yeah. know, it's it, to me, it's always beautiful, bro, to have a conversation about doing something and then getting to the moment where it actually happens. And we made this moment happen, broski. Oh, yeah. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Always, brother. I respect, bro. One love, always, brother. Change is possible. Let's go.